Have you ever wondered if the universe was born from a black hole? This is a question that has puzzled scientists, philosophers, and dreamers alike. It's a question that dips its toes into the unknown, teetering on the edge of our understanding of the cosmos. Black holes, these mysterious celestial bodies, are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. They are born from the remnants of massive stars that collapse under their own gravitational pull, forming a singularity, a point in space where gravity is so intense that it warps the fabric of space and time itself. But what if we told you that the birth of our universe might have something in common with these enigmatic entities? The Big Bang Theory, the prevailing cosmological model for the universe's origin, describes our universe's birth as an extremely hot and dense point nearly 14 billion years ago. It was a singularity much like the one at the heart of a black hole. From this point our universe began to expand, a process that continues to this day. However, it's important to note that the Big Bang and black holes are fundamentally different concepts. In the Big Bang theory, the universe starts as a singularity and expands outward, whereas in a black hole, matter collapses into a singularity, creating a region of extreme gravitational pull. While both involve intense energy and density, they arise from distinct physical processes and contexts. Yet the similarities between black holes and the Big Bang have led to some intriguing hypotheses. One such speculative theory is the idea of a cyclic universe, a model that suggests the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and contraction, each beginning with a Big Bang and ending with a Big Crunch. This theory challenges the notion that the Big Bang was a singular event, instead proposing a potentially infinite series of these cosmic cycles. Dive into the realm of the unknown as we explore the concept of the Big Bang and black holes. Join us on this journey as we unravel the threads of the universe's fabric and perhaps just maybe find a connection between the birth of the universe and the mysteries of black holes. The Big Bang, a concept that seems complex, but let's break it down. Imagine a vast, infinite nothingness. Then suddenly there's a point of extreme heat and density, a singularity. This is the starting point of the Big Bang Theory. From this singularity, the universe rapidly expands, creating space, time, and all the matter we see around us. It's not an explosion in the traditional sense, but rather an intense, rapid expansion. Now you might be thinking, isn't this similar to a black hole exploding? Well, not quite. While both the Big Bang and a black hole involve intense energy and density, they are fundamentally different concepts. Let's look at a black hole. It's formed when matter collapses under its own gravity, creating a point of singularity. But this singularity doesn't expand outward, instead it creates a region of extreme gravitational pull, so intense that not even light can escape. This is the event horizon, the point of no return. So comparing the two, we see that the Big Bang is the universe starting as a singularity and expanding outward. A black hole, on the other hand, is matter collapsing into a singularity, creating a region of extreme gravity. It's easy to get the two concepts mixed up, especially when dealing with the mind-bending realm of cosmology. But understanding these differences helps us better grasp the origins of our universe and the fascinating phenomena within it. The Big Bang Theory as it stands remains the prevailing explanation for the origin and evolution of our universe. It's not a definitive answer, but rather a model that best fits the evidence we currently have. This is the beauty of science. It's always evolving, always questioning, and constantly refining our understanding of the universe. The Big Bang, as we understand it, is the beginning of our universe, a singularity expanding outward. But remember, the universe is a vast, mysterious place, and there's still so much more to discover. Now let's venture into the dark and mysterious world of black holes. These cosmic phenomena are among the most fascinating and least understood aspects of our universe. They are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. Black holes are formed from the remnants of massive stars. When such a star has burned out the last of its fuel, it collapses under its own gravity and forms a singularity, an infinitely small and dense point in space. The gravity around this singularity is so intense that it warps the fabric of space and time, creating a black hole. Now you might be thinking, hey, didn't you say that the Big Bang also started from a singularity? You're correct. But here's where things diverge. In the Big Bang, the singularity expanded, giving birth to the universe as we know it. On the other hand, in a black hole, 
matter collapses into the singularity, creating a region of extreme gravitational pull. So, while they both involve singularities, their outcomes are fundamentally different. The Big Bang results in expansion, creation, and the propagation of matter and energy throughout space. A black hole, however, is all about contraction and the intense concentration of matter and energy in a single point. This difference is crucial because it underscores the diverse ways in which singularities can influence the cosmos. In one instance, a singularity can give rise to an entire universe. In another, it can form a black hole, an entity that devours everything that comes too close. The study of black holes not only provides insights into these mysterious entities, but also helps us understand the fundamental laws of physics. From Einstein's theory of relativity to quantum mechanics, black holes challenge our understanding of the universe and push the boundaries of what we think is possible. While black holes and the Big Bang share some similarities, they emerge from distinct physical processes and contexts. As we continue to study these phenomena, we come closer to unveiling the secrets of our universe and perhaps even the nature of reality itself. Imagine a universe that undergoes cycles of expansion, contraction, and re-expansion. This is the heart of the cyclic universe theory, a model that proposes an intriguing twist on the tale of cosmic evolution. In this model, the universe is like a cosmic phoenix continually rising from the ashes of its own demise. Each cycle starts with a big bang, a moment of intense heat and density, and ends with a big crunch when the universe contracts back into a hot, dense state. This cycle then repeats, much like the seasons on Earth, each time giving birth to a new universe. So how does the cyclic universe theory differ from the standard Big Bang model? Well, the Big Bang theory suggests that our universe started from a singularity about 14 billion years ago. The cyclic universe theory, on the other hand, proposes that the universe has no beginning or end. The Big Bang was not the birth of the universe, but rather just a transition from one cycle to the next. The cyclic model also attempts to solve some of the problems with the Big Bang and inflation models. For example, it could potentially explain why the cosmological constant, which is accelerating the expansion of the universe, is several orders of magnitude smaller than predicted by the standard Big Bang model. There are other cyclic models as well. For instance, the conformal cyclic cosmology, proposed by Nobel laureate Roger Penrose, hypothesizes that our universe arose from a pre-existing universe. This model suggests that remnants of previous universes might still be detectable in our cosmos today. However, it's important to remember that these theories are still speculative. They offer fascinating perspectives on the nature of the universe, but they're not yet widely accepted in the scientific community. More evidence and research are needed to validate or refute these ideas. The idea of a cyclic universe is fascinating, but it's still speculative and not widely accepted, Yet, the possibility of our universe being just one of countless cycles like the ebb and flow of cosmic tides is a thought that might keep you wondering about the mysteries of the cosmos. We ventured into the depths of the universe and explored its possible origins. It's been a journey of astronomical proportions, and as we wrap up our cosmic expedition, let's take a moment to revisit the intriguing theories we've traversed. First, we delved into the Big Bang Theory, the prevailing explanation for the birth of our universe. It paints a picture of a universe that exploded into existence from an incredibly hot and dense state about 14 billion years ago. This rapid expansion, however, is not to be mistaken for a black hole's explosive behavior. We then unveiled the enigma that is the black hole. These cosmic phenomena are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. They form when massive stars collapse under their own gravity, creating a singularity a point of infinite density. Despite some similarities, a black hole and the Big Bang are fundamentally different concepts born from distinct physical processes. Our journey then took us through the speculative terrain of the cyclic universe theory. This model proposes a universe in a perpetual state of expansion and contraction, each cycle beginning with a Big Bang and ending with a Big Crunch. It's a theory that challenges our understanding of the universe's origin, suggesting that the Big Bang was not a singular event, but rather a repeating pattern in an endless cosmic dance. From the conformal cyclic cosmology of Roger Penrose to the loop quantum cosmology, we've seen that the cyclic model is just one of many attempts to unlock the mysteries of our universe. These theories, while intriguing, remain speculative and not widely accepted in the scientific community. 
The universe is a vast, mysterious place and our understanding of it is constantly evolving. So, keep questioning, keep exploring, and who knows what discoveries await us.